you can see how nicely, and that's a bit long, how nicely that comes into contact with the shoulder line. So that's it for this piece for now. This actually has to turn down just a tad more because it's going to be reflected from the radius that comes down from up above. But I can see it sharper up there than down here. I just don't have the power in the fingers today to roll that around. Okay, guys, here's the driver's side. Tweaked a little bit. And just going by this rod here. That's sitting just about right. A little bit of space there, only because the end is down a bit. Bring that up a little bit like that. Like so. All right. And there we go. A couple of little things in here. We need to change the anvil, kind of re-radius that a bit. It just sits right there. And that's going to be it. So I'm going to get another clamp, squeeze that onto there. And then we're going to start rolling out the center section. But that's come out really, really nice. So that's it. Now stay. How do you do this? What do you think of that, guys? Can we call this done? I don't think so. We have a long way to go. And I just wanted to show you what we're starting with. Took this 4x8 sheet, cut it in half, literally cut it in half, and laid it up here, clamped it. And what I'm going to do is actually scribe to the buck where the other pieces kind of ended give ourselves some overlap and then trim off what we don't need. And then we can start working this panel in. There's a main radius that happens through here. You saw me working on that on the side pieces. And that's gonna have to blend into those side pieces, but we're gonna have a lot easier job not having to deal with everything at once. Because you can see how much height we have from up there down into where it rolls down for the seal. Most of our crown happens back in through this section here and then it kind of flattens out into the rear window area. We don't have a, a hump in here. We don't want a hump in here. We need this to grow out here and blend into that rear window panel. So, uh, well, like I said, we've got a long way to go. Let's get started, guys. Okay, so for the rear trunk skin, we're starting by just breaking the primary roll that goes down and around the bottom of the trunk skin. Now this area is going to have to blend into the two side pieces, so we're going to have to match that up afterwards. Just let the gravity of the sh oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Good. Just gives us a starting point. I should come back. That's where I tweak that a little bit there. Okay, and around, and around, there we go. So if this was all one section of trunk skin, we'd have to go all the way down into those side pieces as well and stretch the whole center. And that would be quite a lot of work. This kind of simplifies things. So we're gonna switch over, go to the solid anvils and start our wheeling pattern in the middle and start bringing the middle up. So we're gonna be wheeling our first 16 inch centerpiece and we're blending it, blending it into the bottom radius down there that rolls down to the rear fascia. That's where the majority of the crown is going to be in the trunk lid. So it's going to take quite a bit of time to wheel it up and we're going to bring you guys in when it's more or less got some shape to it. Right now it's just flopping around. Okay. Watch the throat and back. Trying to give that bottom edge some stretch without creating a big pimple in the trunk lid. Our next square is going to be about 24 inches across, which means we'll have to keep switching from side to side to work it in. I'm just steering it. Okay, stop there. We're done. And now we take a break, guys. OK. 
Okay. So there's hardly any pressure at all. Yeah. A little bit of pressure. I want to I want to clean some stuff up. So. All right, guys, we're in the final stage of washing out this panel before we go fit it on the car again. The curvature is coming in quite nicely. A little bit of oil canning happening along the top edge there, but we're going to be hemming that, so that'll take care of that edge. We don't want to overstretch that edge. Okay, we're going to back up a little bit. I see a little something. Right there. Okay. And then to the end and out. Okay. Yep, just stop there and one right there. Okay, let's go try this up on the car. Okay. It's come out quite nicely. The fluorescent fixtures are tubes, reflections are not too bad. Okay, let's go try this. You take it? Yeah, I'll grab it. Yep. Or you got it? Nope. <laughs> there you go. I don't want to drop it now. Washed it out, and just when you think you're done, when we laid it up on the buck, we notice a bit of a flat spot because the curvature was correct at that point. Here, we don't really know what the curvature is. So by putting it up on the buck, that told us that's a guide as to where the panel has to sit. And there's a bit of a flat spot through here. So we're gonna bring this up a little bit more. Okay. About there, start here. Did you want to start in the center of work out? Uh, we should actually, yeah. Just pull one way than the other? Yeah. Okay. That's it, yep. See, everything else is sitting well. The sides are coming in quite nicely. So we just want to focus on the middle here. Just kind of clean that up. I want to reduce the pressure. I'm just going to keep wheeling and going out. It'll help kind of clean up any tracking marks too. Looking better. Okay, and I guess we can just keep going, keep going, keep going. Wash it out to the edge? Yeah, yeah. What we did on one side, gotta do the other. Okay. Right there. Heard me say this before, but we're washing this out for the final time after we made a few adjustments. More than likely, this panel will have to go back in the wheel once we get the side pieces weld on, welded on. But for now, it's going to be uh, it's going to be it. And stop. That's it. Yeah, that's quite nice. Perfect. Okay. Let's go clamp this on the buck again.